happening. All right. So China is outselling the U.S. on EVs. I can't believe this. Newsflash. Mind blown. My name is Paul Barron, and this is TechPath. <laughs> on a much calmer note, yes, China is outselling the United States at 1.3 million EVs, Germany coming in a very close second at 390,000, and then the United States obviously coming in at number three, thanks to Elon at 320,000 uh, vehicles. Now, there are uh, reasons that China is outselling the United States, 28 million vehicles annually. I mean, come on, they, they have a whole slew of electric vehicle companies, and there are, but what's really interesting is it's only accounting for about 4% of its total production. So that tells me two things. One is that China has a huge opportunity, but also I have a surprise for you, and that is the state of Florida. The state of Florida, and I'll get into this in a second, the state of Florida is a great business case of why electric vehicles could become one of the leading, being the U.S., become one of the leading uh, countries for electric vehicle deployment. If you do look at the highest um, electric vehicles per market share, Norway's number one at 63% of their vehicles on the road. Iceland comes in number two. Sweden at number three at 32%. Netherlands at 21 Finland comes in at 18%. So Europe is a very hot market for it. And if you consider the kind of the growth mechanism of it and what the opportunity is, and also some of the things that are happening here in North America, just because of the uh, amount of charging stations that are being deployed, Florida, let's go over and look at Florida now. Florida is number two in the nation in passenger EV sales. This was as of June 2020. They had rough, roughly around 64,000, somewhere, uh, I'm estimating that somewhere around 80,000 uh, vehicles on the road right now. Uh, EV sales in this state have increased, uh, I believe, uh, what, 20%. And uh, of course, the fact that this has grown so fast since 2015, and I'm gonna show you a chart here that's going from 2015 to 2019. Look at the acceleration of EV adoption in the state of Florida. So when you see that and the opportunity, because the when you look at this, the per capita change based on Florida, 18% uh, basically nationally in terms of EV sales, um, or number 18, I should say, nationally in EV sales, but because of their boom and room for growth and the adoption rate, Florida could become a hunting ground for EVs and how they kind of move in the direction of growth. Now, the big key here, of course, is charging stations and how many of those things we're gonna be able to get on the ground. Obviously, we've seen a big push with Tesla. They continue. They've also opened up uh, charger manufacturing. Uh, Elon has started to expand that production as well to deal with what he's trying to do in terms of the growth in 2021, especially as they deploy some of the new vehicles. If the Cybertruck hits the ground, we're definitely gonna need that because we'll see an immediate uh, surge. And of course, the Model Y and the Model S, or excuse me, Model Y and Model 3, of course, are just blowing up uh, sales projections, and I think those two cars absolutely terrorize us on the streets in terms of EV adoption in some of the bigger states, such as Florida. And when you look at what's happening with the refresh of X and the refresh of Y, it gets back to the point that China is still beating our ass. But that doesn't mean that we cannot catch uh, up in terms of the amount of people that are actually deploying EVs and compare those to the comparison that we're gonna be dealing with in a much more broader uh, country in terms of traffic and being able to get to that three, four, and 500 mile range. So all those things play into this of whether or not the US can really kind of make a bounce back. Could we get to a million vehicles in the next two years? If the US can really jumpstart to a million vehicles in the next two years, I think we are on track for full EV adoption with by 2030, which is what a lot of people uh, are really looking to. And even if you look at what Kathy Wood is saying over at ARC, they are all in on the 2030 number of these companies pretty much dominating what is gonna happen in the space of automobile sales. I'm not talking about EV sales, but automobile sales. So huge opportunity here um, when you look at where this is going. Now, I do wanna talk about the fastest growth countries uh, that are really kind of flying up the chart here. India, number one at a plus 510%. Taiwan is also coming in. The Czech Republic, Germany, and both Denmark. 
Um, all these companies, so what this tells you is there is a global phenomenon happening right now in terms of adoption at the EV level. We have got to get the news out here in the United States that electric vehicles are more approachable and affordable. Look at the Chevy Bolt, where it's going, what GM is doing, which I think is phenomenal in bringing that kind of car to market. It's going to open up the, the ranks, I think, in terms of acceptance. And then what you've done with the Model Y and the Model 3, they've jumped into the SUV space, even though the Model Y is kind of a crossover vehicle uh, in a sense, but it does compete very handily against most of the SUVs that it goes against, which is the Mercedes class, uh, C-Class and the BMW uh, Model 3 in the, or the X3 in the SUV. So these cars are considerably more expensive. The Model Y comes in much more uh, affordable and all of this plays into the future. And the future is that we are on a good trend of going to zero emissions. That's the big story here. And here's what's really cool about it. I think there's gonna be a few states that lead the way. And I do think Florida is gonna be one of them, especially in terms of autonomy. I won't get into that, but if you have not checked out my video talking about uh, robo delivery, make sure and do so because I break down the whole idea of how robo delivery is going to explode. And Florida is probably gonna be the training ground for that since we have full autonomy available from a legislation side and actually legal here in uh, the city streets of Florida. You can watch cars go by without drivers all the time. So we'll see more and more of that. Make sure if you have an idea for Tech Path, maybe you have an interview you'd, look, you'd like us to get uh, of any of the EV, AI, or a t an emerging tech company that you think would be great. Just shoot us an email to producer at revernetworks.com. And also you can hit me up on Twitter at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on Tech Path.